Judging from what I've been reading on the forum boards, dental vacuforming machines are becoming more popular among modelers. Since I've been using one for many years, I thought this video would be helpful to those who are new to the machine. All the machines are basically the same, with a heating element on the top. Below that is a movable frame to support the material and a small vacuum table below that. The first step in the vacuforming process is the creation of the form. The form can be made from hardwood or other hard materials that can withstand the stress of the heated plastic sheets. The ideal material is polished metal like these that I use to form turrets. Note that the forms are elevated so that there is plenty of room for the plastic sheet to drape over the sides. The most reliable materials for our vacuforming needs are PET-G and styrene. I prefer thicknesses between 40 and 60 thousandths of an inch. Modelers familiar with my work have probably heard me mention that I use 1 16th inch acrylic sheet. While I do have a preference for acrylic, it's not the ideal material to use for vacuforming. It's hard to handle and very sensitive to overheating. If you have a desire to use acrylic sheet, keep in mind that there are three types of acrylic sheet, extruded, poured, and cast. Vacuforming requires either the poured or cast type. The vacuforming process begins by mounting a sheet of material stock in the frame. The frame is raised close to the heat source. The rate at which the material is heated is critical and is controlled by altering the distance between the material and the heating element. A piece of stainless steel screen is placed on top of the frame to help even out the heat. The form is placed on the vacuum table and the heating element switched on. As the material is first heated, it will distort and then develop an even slump. A good rule of thumb is that when the material slumps even with the frame, it's soft enough to form. Very thin material will not slump as much. When the material is soft enough, the vacuum is switched on and the frame is brought down over the form. Once cool, the material is removed from the frame. The material is then separated from the form. The canopy is then trimmed to fit. One element to note is that very sharp corners are impossible to achieve when forming over a form. In the case of this 30 second tempest, I used a mixture of clear acrylic powder and cyanoacrylate cement to build up the deficiency. A description of this process is shown in the video on dental acrylic resin. The canopy was polished out using the process described in the video on aircraft canopy finishing techniques. Vacuforming of sheet styrene has many uses. Here a wooden form was made to create two identical wheel wells for the 32nd Hawker Tempest. A mold was made of the tail wheel cut out of the Tempest. Wax, styrene, and acrylic were used to block out the final shape of the tail wheel doors. A mold was made of the door shape and the form poured from Hydrocal. The doors were formed from styrene sheet. Here the same process was used to create a form so that the sheet styrene could be used as a guide for scribing the hatch and the cupola of an M48. 